and it'll bring me the first problem of the week. Ooh, and I'm glad you're here. I got a problem. Dennis, figures. Oh, Kiwi! What is your problem, Dennis? I can never figure out how to eat these without getting the little hairs in my mouth. Dennis? Hmm? Oh, right. Also, um, I don't understand this memo you sent. Memo? Let me see that. Oh, Dennis, these are acronyms from Mecklenburg County. Acronym? Isn't that a Harry Potter character? No, Dennis. An acronym is just an abbreviation, in this case, specific to commonly used terms in Mecklenburg County government operations. County acronyms? Like BOCC stands for Board of County Commissioners. Hello? The nine-member elected governing body? I get it. Like BLT stands for Bacon, Lettuce, and Tabasco. Something like that. Yeah, so why do I need this list? Because as station manager, you interact with the county for the Mecklenburger Show. Right. Thank you. Very thoughtful. So do you need anything else? No. Uh, but I do reserve the right to ask again later. Duly noted. Oh, actually, yes. Kiwi with the hair in the mouth, do you know how to... No? Ed, come on in. Watch me whip this Texas wimp. You better do less talking and more straining. <laughs> I win again. Yeah, I still have the best TV station there, cowboy. Best station? Yeah, sorry, and this is Herb Carlson here, buddy of mine from Lone Star State. He's the one who bought that uh, TV station over in Gaston County. You mean the one that started airing the Gastons in competition with the Mecklenburgers? That's right, little lady. And just like this arm wrestling here, the Gastons are going to bury the Mecklenburgers. Over my dead body. Don't promise anything you can't deliver, Brady boy. Now, settle down. Arguing never settled an argument. Besides, competition is good, even healthy. Brings out the best in people, right? And my best can beat your best any day of the week. In fact, why don't we have a battle on TV between our shows? I'll put my team up against your team in a second. Right. Well, that sounds like a bony fide challenge. What'd you have in mind, darling? Oh, Anne, I can't figure out this acronym. We just went over this five minutes ago. It's like you said, B-L-T, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Yeah, Tabasco. Whatever. Okay, come on, Dennis. We'll go over it again. And I'm not through with you yet, Joker. I look forward to our next encounter, then. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> Who is that other dolt? He's my son, Dennis, station manager. If that guy is in charge of the Mecklenburgers, I'll bet you two cans of tuna that... My cast of the Gastons can beat your cast of the Mecklenburgers in a game of knowledge. A knowledge? What kind of knowledge? How about them acronyms? We'll see who knows what. A good old-fashioned Texas showdown. Showdown. Yeah, that always makes money. Yeah, now you're talking my game. What do you say? Or are you too chicken? Now, we can do it right here on my set. I'll have Ann make the arrangement. What about it? Deal. All right. <laughs> Indian wrestling. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually happening. Yeah, it's kind of silly. All for two cans of tuna. No. I mean, I can't believe we're actually going to get a chance to drive the Gastons into the ground and prove we're the best. Uh, right, that too. Okay, people, quiet on the set. <laughs> Live from beautiful Mecklenburg County, it's time to play What's My Acronym? And here's your host with the most, Glib Speaker. Hey, how'd you get him? He's big time. He must have busted the budget. Actually, he said he owed Jim, so he's doing it for free. Welcome to What's My Acronym? We've got a great show for you today, and before we get started, how about we meet our players? Say hello to the Gaston. <laughs> Tell us your name, good sir. I'm Dave. I graduated from Harvard, and I run a large manufacturing plant. 
Wonderful! And you, my lovely lady, have to be Mrs. Gaston. Yes, darling, but you can call me Janine. Ooh, Janine, 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 I may just call you later. <laughs> <laughs> and what are your tiny little names? I'm, Sa I'm Sam. Sam. I'm Max. Max is my brother, and we like to... Fantastic! Okay, <laughs> let's meet the Mecklenburgers. Why don't you go ahead and... Hey, Brady boy. <laughs> What's going on? It's the start of your humiliation. Don't call me Brady Boy. <laughs> no problem, Brady Boy. How about I call you Loser? How about I call you Rodeo Clown? <laughs> My name is Mac Mecklenburger. I graduated from North Carolina State and... <laughs> I laughed. It's a very good school with a very talented faculty. Oh, again, I laugh. There's no end to my bemusement. <laughs> okay, that was awkward. Let's move on. Hello, I'm Trish Mecklenburger, and I'm, I'm a hot mom with, with a fabulous wardrobe. With a forked tongue, you lying, scheming strumpet. And I love Tearing out a man's heart and grinding it into dust. Hatred of all things baby. more beautiful than you. Love yourself. Only love yourself. Kids, Enough of this! Okay! Now would be a great time to find out what our contestants could win. Um, excuse me, you forgot us. Yeah, the kids. Amy, Emma, blah, 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 blah. Um, actually, as kids, we feel Take like... Take it away, Roger! All right, Glib, our second prize winner will receive a year's supply of Ducky's Back Wax. When you need wax on your back, think of the wax with a quack. Quack, quack. The first place winner will receive dignity. That's right, there's nothing like maintaining your dignity by making sure you don't lose a game show about acronyms. Dignity. Right. <clears throat> now, here are the rules. I'll give you an acronym, you tell me what it means, and if you get it right, you win points. Are you ready? We're yes, ready. ready. Yes. Well, then, let's play. The first question goes to Dave. Dave. What does the Mecklenburg County acronym CMGC stand for? <laughs> Mecklenburg County? We studied acronyms for Gaston County. <laughs> ah, looks like this contest will be a cakewalk for us, buddy. So long, cow's tail. This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Better go to plan B. Dave, I need an answer. I, I have to say, I, I don't know. Mac, your chance to win the points for the Mecklenburgers. The Charlotte Mecklenburg Government Center, Glib. That's correct for 500 points. The CMGC is the Charlotte Mecklenburg Government Center, the joint facility of the city of Charlotte and Mecklenburg County at 600 East 4th Street in Charlotte. The CMGC houses the offices of the Board of County Commissioners and the County Manager. And the next acronym is for Amy. Polarum. P-A-L-R-M. That would be property assessment of land records management, Glib. This is the division of Mecklenburg County Land Use and Environmental Services Agency, known as LOISA. Right you are, Amy. Property assessment and land records list and appraises all real and personal property in Mecklenburg County to establish and maintain in property tax records. And an added bonus for identifying the Louisa acronym. Janine, Janine, me, 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 me in a bottle. e -back. Every bear admires... Coolio? Emma? Education Budget Advisory Committee. Right. The volunteer residents appointed by the Board of County Commissioners to provide advice on funding for Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools operations. <laughs> Mrs. Mecklenburger. CCBAC. Pass. Dave, 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 this question goes to you. Mac? Citizens Capital Budget Advisory Committee. <laughs> That's right. 
Oh, yeah, I guess your husband had to bail you out there, huh? Mm. The uh, CCBAC is a different group of volunteers appointed by the Board of County Commissioners. They advise the board on capital needs throughout the county, like parks, libraries, schools, jails, and more. Good job. <laughs> and at the end of round one, we have Mac with 18,000 points, Amy with 18,000 points, Emma with 17,000 points, and Mrs. Mecklenburger, I hate you so much, with zero points. We have Dave, Janine, Sam, and Max, also with zero points. So, at the end of round one, the Mecklenburgers are leading with 53,000 points. We'll be back with round two after the break. Hi, my name is Steve Leinberger. I'm building inspector with Mecklenburg County. Work for the Louisa Division. My title is a building trades inspector and I work in the field doing building inspections to assure that buildings are built to North Carolina building codes. Basically in our larger commercial jobs, we don't find that many actual violations. Most of the time we're just meeting with architects and engineers and owners because they either have a scheduling problem or either something has arrived that's different from the approved set of plans so we work with them to basically make sure that we can uh, help them keep on their schedule and that uh, everything is code compliant. We can enter all of our information on computers. It is all instantaneous so that the uh, owners and the contractors can find out whether they pass or fail. And it's a real joy to see something come out of the ground and materialize and to say that you actually had part in that building being built and you can take great pride in that. And we also work with making sure the buildings are safe for the general public and for everyone. that you would make sure that my people would bury Jennifer and the rest of the Mecklenburgers. Don't even say her name in my presence. How was I supposed to know that the entire show was going to be about Mecklenburg County acronyms? I knew Brady would do something to try to stab us in the rumpy roast. You've got to give the answers to my team. Not only that, but we're going to have to implement Plan XJ7. We have a Plan XJ7? I do. Ooh, subtle. I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have got to help me. Give, give me some of the answers. Great job. Great job? I am being totally embarrassed out there. Jennifer, you should at least try to answer some of the questions. Didn't you study the acronym list? No, I thought they were typos. I am not saying anything. And besides, that host has something against me. But he said he owed you. Well, whatever you did, he sure seems serious about payback. Anne, you've got to protect me! What can I do? Besides, we're in the middle of a live TV show. How bad can he get? Relax. We're winning. Soon, Jennifer, I mean the Mecklenburgers, will be no more. I don't want anyone hurt. I just want to beat Brady. Don't worry, your big baby. It's just going to put him to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what are we laughing at? out of the way. All we have to do is wait for Jennifer and the others to drink that water and we're set. Wait a minute, how can we be sure they'll drink water? Oh, don't worry. I took care of that. Diet cream soda. Blech. Bubble gum raisin soda? Yuck! Yeah. Let's have some good old-fashioned water, girls. I don't feel 
feels so good. I'm really tired. The king of Prussia is 32. Who are you? Um, Jennifer, uh, did you perchance stop by the uh, craft services table at the break? Maybe have some water. Oh, heavens no. I never drink anything less than pure fortified mineral spring water mixed with a little lemon and melted snow from Mont Blanc. It's very good for my complexion. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> would, yes, complexion is Mont Blanc. <laughs> what are we going to do now? She didn't drink the water. I want her humiliated. Relax. She's not exactly the most attentive aunt on the farm, is she? What? Well, she didn't answer a single question that round. And with the answer sheet you gave us, there's no way that she can win. Oh, you may be right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we're back. Okay, let's get ready to do this thing. You guys ready? Darling, we were born ready. I may need a duck. Terrific. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're in round two of our exciting game of action and acronyms. Mecklenburgers lead, staggering 53,000 points. But can they hold on? We're gonna begin this round with Amy. Amy, your acronym, what does the acronym DSS stand for? Department of Social... Oh, I'm sorry. Department of Social is incorrect. Dave, this goes to you. Department of Social Services. That's right! The Mecklenburg County Department of Social Services helps people achieve and maintain self-sufficiency. DSS has three major divisions. Economic services that provide financial and other assistance to eligible families. <gasps> services for adults that provides prevention, protection, and care for older adults and people with disabilities. And youth and family services which protects children from abuse and neglect and overseas adoption and foster services. Yeah. Um, Jennifer. Jennifer. Shh, shh. Nick, we are in the middle of it. Game show. Jennifer, please, listen. The war. Nick, wake up. You have got to hurry up and beat these Gastons so I can go shopping. <sighs> Mrs. Mecklenburger. You tart. Um, since all of your team members are now asleep, all questions will go to you. Uh-oh. What does PLCMC stand for? Please, let's use more currency? Wrong! Not even close. Janine, this question goes to you. Well, Glib, the answer is Public Library of Charlotte and Mecklenburg County, darling. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's 500 points for Janine and zero points for Mrs. Mecklenburger. Got that? Zero. I'm beginning to get it. This next question goes to Dave. Dave! G-I-S. That would be Geographic Information Systems, Glib. <laughs> right! G-I-S stands for Geographic Information System. G-I-S organizes and displays in easy-to-understand graphics a collection of geographic data. This includes locations of toxic facilities, revised voting districts, and the Polaris system, which allows online access to property listings and tax information. Dave! ESD. Oh, I know this one. It's every shopper's dream, of course. <laughs> Sam. Economic Services Division. That's right! <laughs> Isn't she cute? I just want to pinch her. <laughs> well, I guess you weren't listening earlier when we talked about the DSS because the ESD is a division of the Department of Social Services. <laughs> Max! <laughs> Your acronym? is IST. Information Services and Technology. Right! The IST department manages the county technology, investments, and systems. Great job, Gastons! Well, at the end of round two, the Gastons have jumped up to 40,000 points, while the Mecklenburgers have remained at 53,000. We'll see what happens after our final break. Once just a vision, the Little Sugar Creek Greenway is coming to life. 
flowing 15 miles through the heart of Charlotte. Pristine parks and local neighborhoods, urban promenades and natural areas. The Greenway will connect the communities of the Charlotte region like never before. Its impact on our economy, our environment, and our quality of life will be tremendous. The Little Sugar Creek Greenway. Charlotte is going green. What's going on over there? I must have made the cast study too hard. Except for Jennifer, they're all asleep. And where is Dennis? I don't think it has a thing to do with studying. I smell a rat. A rat, huh? Yeah. Just look at that guy, that host over there. Looks like he's looks like he's wringing his hands and saying, Ah, my plan, my plan, my glorious plan is working perfectly. <laughs> My plan, my plan, my glorious plan is working perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> my butt. I think we better investigate. Okay, but we only have a couple of minutes during the break. We'd better split up. So what did you find? I found this bottle cap on the floor. Well, I found this bottle. Yeah, what else? And this candlestick in the conservatory. Uh-huh. This is proof the Gastons use a sedative to put the Mecklenburgers to sleep. Okay. If the cap fits, we must go hit. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Did you hear that coming from your office? Yeah. <laughs> 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 trying to tell you to take the tape off slowly. I don't understand mumbo, boy. Uh, how long have you been here? Since the first game show break. I tried to scream, but the tape just got all gooey and got a bunch of adhesive in my mouth. Of course, on the plus side, my stomach lining does have a fresh new coat. Okay, first, gross. Secondly, how did you get in here? Oh, uh, I discovered Carlson's evil scheme to drug our team and they put me in here. An eyewitness. Eyewitness. That's a whole lot better evidence that junk we got here. Let's go stop those Gastons once and for all. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, whoa. Hey, wait, guys. Guys, guys, wait for me. Wait. Why am I always the one who gets tied up in a chair, guys? Okay, okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And it has now come to our final lightning bonus round. Mrs. Mecklenburger maintains a slim lead with 53,000 points. Still, while the castings have jumped to a solid 52,980 points. Wow! That's going to be a little embarrassing. So, Mrs. Baconburger, if you get this question right, you win. But if you miss it, you lose. You'll be the biggest loser ever. So here it is, you likely loser. Your final acronym, M-C-S-O. Stop everything! Mac, Amy, and Emma have been drugged. What? No, that, that, that's preposterous. There's no way that you can prove such a wild allegation. Oh, yeah? We have a witness. Yeah, I saw them. They threw sedative in the water, and then they tied me up to this chair, and then they put me and Father at Dad Brady's office. You idiot! Why didn't you lock the door? Yeah, you two in cahoots, huh? Yeah, there's two cahoots here. And I'd have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for this idiot host. Aha! Uh -huh. So you were in cahoots, you rat. Now I recognize you. You are a rat, and that's why I dumped you like smelly cheese. Oh, so I drugged a guy and two kids. Big deal. So what? OK, and I also helped tie up Dennis, and I followed him to Brady's office, and I kicked him a few times. But look, everybody's fine now. It's fine. That's all I did, I swear. I suppose it's only fair that you call the law on our sorry huds. Absolutely. Call the MCSO. The what now? The Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office. Well, I know that acronym because I had to take out a warrant to keep him from stalking me. Too creepy. I just thought you were from Texas. If I'd known you were a stalker, I'd never have anything to do with you. Honest, Brady. And what are you going to do about it? 
Well, he'll be drawn and quartered, Texas style. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Listen to plan XJ8. All we need is an armadillo and a, and a push broom, I swear. All right, let's get him and your whole team out of here right now. Don't let the door hit you with the dog, bitch. If we showed him who's boss. Uh, I forgot we're still on the air alive, Jennifer. Well, uh, well, <clears throat> since I and Mrs. Mecklen answered that last question correctly. The Mecklenburgers are declared the winners. Let's have a hand for the victors. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, and good night. <clears throat> Sweet dreams. Hi, I'm Suzanne Stevens. Sometimes it's not as easy as it should be to figure out government, and Mecklenburg County government is no exception. The use and often overuse of acronyms makes it even more confusing. That's why Mecklenburg County produces shows like the Mecklenburgers. The county also manages an interactive website and provides other public information services to help people understand the county's responsibilities, services, and results. There's even an acronym guide available online. To find the guide or to get other information about Mecklenburg County government, go to www.mecklenburgcountync.gov or you can call the county's Public Service and Information Department. To learn more about our Mecklenburgers TV show, go to themecklenburgers.com. We're the Mecklenburgers.